<laughs> Maybe we should shut up finally so I can play. <laughs> okay, we do that. Welcome to a new video. <laughs> Today we're talking about music, music in yoga classes, music in our online classes, in our videos and also in general. Is it good to have music during your practice or do you prefer silence? Should you be in silence? And when we'll cover, about the, cover yeah. about the whole topic about music. Should you practice in silence or should there be some music playing while you're practicing? Music is usually what brings people together, what evokes certain emotions and feelings and humans are meant to be in community and be together and usually around a fire and doing music, singing, playing instruments, making some kind of, of music. Sound and rhythm. Sound, and yes. Yeah. It's also very part of human to dance and to move your body and so as you can already imagine it's on the hand that we also want music with our movement practice and that we encourage music while we're moving because we also think that a vinyasa flow or a practice on your mat is kind of like a dance with yourself as they say it's the practice of the self through the self to the self so when you're on your mat and you're moving and you're breathing and you're focusing on you we think it's a good idea to have music going so having a happy balance between having music in your practice but also having some moments of silence, especially during meditation. We are often looking for distractions or things to keep our mind busy and distracted from being present and music can to some degree take away from that experience, especially if the music has lyrics where there's singing or if there's obnoxious or guitar riffs or loud snare drums or something. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a drummer, I love music and all of that, but there's a place and a time for it. So making sure that you also have moments of stillness and silence in your practice is beneficial in different ways as well. And it does need to be music every time you are on the mat. Some days you might want to use something more upbeat, one of our more upbeat playlists we have and we offer. And some days you just want very chill music, although you might be doing a strong practice. So it's not that we will recommend you now any certain type of music that you should use. It doesn't always have to match the intensity of your movement practice. But in general, we recommend that towards the breath work and towards the cooling down, you also pick a little bit more gentle and chill, relaxing music to help with this intention, the response that you want to create to shift into a more parasympathetic nervous state activation where you can relax. We have a great meditation playlist that is fantastic for that, lots of mantras and lots of chanting, but very gentle. Or silence. Silent meditation is really the, the key, I think, to a, a very transformative practice. Guided meditations are great and we offer them too and they're great to start. But if you really want to be comfortable with your mind and learn the most about yourself, then you need to do silent meditations. Because when you're outside in challenging situations, there's also no one guiding you to now, okay, now relax your shoulders, relax the feet and now breathe through the nose nice and slow. No one is there telling you this. So this is good to learn in the beginning to practice, but at some point you should move to the majority of your meditations being in silence. Not all of them, it's great to be guided to, but the majority so that you really prepare your, yourself for the great teacher, for life, for the situations where you need it. Without the pause in a song, without the Silence between the beats and the notes, there would be no rhythm. So the pause is also very important in music as well. And so without the pauses, it just gets too wild in the mind and too crazy. So you need to dive into the, into the silence, just like music needs the silence for a good rhythm. 
in a flow practice or a movement practice as we teach it in vinyasa flow and in our style you want to enter a kind of flow state where you're fully present you're fully aware your senses are heightened you have a better feeling for your body you go a little bit more inward and we're entering what's called flow state and there's many things that, that contribute to it uh, one of them being just the flow as we design them with the challenges so it's accessible but it also is challenging then the cues we give and also one more thing you can add to enter this flow and kind of ride this wave is music so in some practices you want to add the music to be more in the flow and use the music as, a, as another tool and some days you just want to be in silence and maybe it's just the breath and it's all inwards and you guide it from more within. This has been a topic of conversation in almost every single video we post for the past few years where people either have a love relationship with music with yoga or they have a hate relationship with music with yoga. Either way we do it, some people will love it, some people will not like it at all. Mm -hmm. And so we started making our playlist public and creating more as we just always use them for our classes. We thought let's just put it up there and maybe someone will like it. And we got some good feedback from other teachers, from people that were practicing, that enjoyed the classes, the, the playlist for the classes. And so we kept going. And we're teaching now uh, at the retreats, the workshops and everything we do. We use our playlists from our Spotify and for our own practice we use it as well. I would recommend you check our Spotify where we have now I think over 50 or 60 free playlists for classes. Mostly for a 60 minute length. And we also have some other playlists which are more generic like meditation music playlists. So it's all the very chill music, binaural beats and mantras and all of it. It's great for meditation, yin yoga playlist or also something for morning coffee. So also kind of themes, road trip music or dance music. There's a new one that we just added that's for like a conscious dance uh, party, conscious dance therapy it's called. And so there's a lot of playlists for free on Spotify that we invite you to check out so that if you decide to have music for the videos that you do here on YouTube or on Patreon you can easily add your own music or our music a playlist that you enjoy to the practice. Since last May we've also been releasing a monthly yoga playlist a 60 minute vinyasa flow class that is just titled yoga playlist of the month. You can subscribe just to, or you can follow just the one playlist. And then each month I will refresh it and you get new music every month. So and the old playlist is not lost. So she will store yeah. them so that it goes up from 50 to 51, 52. DJ Bree will update your playlist. And so you always got fresh beats and fresh music. Just make sure you turn off the shuffle play. It happened uh, a few times in the beginning yeah. where we have shuffle play on and all of a sudden it's some upbeat song uh, 10 minutes into class. So if you're a teacher, yeah. Always double check. Exactly. It's the last thing you want to be thinking about when you're teaching a class. You want to be focusing on the students, of course, and the sequencing and um, just the environment and the energy of what's happening in the room. We used to just have uh, an option for artists to email us or people just in general to email us if they had music suggestions for our playlists. And recently that just got to be a little overwhelming. So we get like 50 emails a week or direct messages on Instagram or comments on YouTube and uh, or in Discord and it ended up just being too overwhelming and too distributed. So I ended up creating a, a submission form for music and you can find that form on the FAQ page of our website. We will also link it below in the description. And with that form, when you click on it, then from there you have the opportunity to drop the direct URL of the song that you're suggesting straight into the form. And then at the end of every month, I will open up the form, which is then moved into a spreadsheet so I can see just like a full list of all the songs that have been submitted. And from there I can go through and listen to each song and decide if it fits one of our playlists or our upcoming yoga playlist of the month. So it's uh, an easier way for you to submit music. And it's also an easier way for me to um, be able to make sure I'm not missing anybody's messages or uh, yeah, just letting, getting things lost in all of the emails. So if you have uh, some music you want to suggest and recommend, 
for us to use in future playlists, then please use this Google form. It's again linked in the description of this video. And again, thanks for well, thanks to all the artists mm -hmm. for creating the music. Thank you very much. Yes. It's, we... it's amazing. Thanks so much for all your work and all your time and all the love yeah. you put into creating music. Yeah. If it's uh, whatever platform, whatever kind of style, whatever, you know, whatever you're doing, it's amazing and it's, it's recognized. Thanks so much. Yes. So I hope this video helps you guys to decide if you want to use music and what kind of music. And if you do, we invite you to check out our Spotify channel. All the music there is for free. Of course, uh, Spotify has their own way of handling things, so that's out of our control. But our channel is public and you get over 60 or so playlists there for free. Yes. We also don't get paid by saying anything about Spotify or We should make this a, <laughs> a Spotify other... <laughs> collaboration. Yeah, so we don't mean to like over promote the platform, but that's just the platform that we're using for now. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we, we really just want to share the music with you all without the expectation of any payment or any sort of anything coming back to us like we love music and so this is a way for us to also yeah. be creative and put together and curate some fun playlists for all of you so we hope that you enjoy the playlists and um yeah a couple of pro tips also when you're listening to spotify is there's three things i can think of one is to go into your settings and turn on crossfade. So you can drag that up to 12 seconds and that's a really nice feature because then as one song is fading out the last six seconds, it already starts overplaying or overlapping and crossfading with the next song. So when you're listening to the song as you're practicing, then it kind of, the whole playlist like flows together more smoothly. So that's one thing. Two is if you're listening to a playlist, let's say coffee shop, and you come across a song that you are that you hear on there that you actually really do not enjoy and it just drives you crazy and you hear it every time and it makes you want to like jump off the playlist completely. You can just click on the triple dot next to the song and then select like stop playing the song or what does it say? Or hide from playlist or yeah. ignore or something like this. So it's not, you're not changing the playlist, it's just for you that it will not play the song again. Yeah, it's more personalized. And we do this all the time when we listen to other people's playlists as well. Sometimes there's just one song that drives you crazy and you just want to like shut off that one song. So that's also a cool feature. And the third pro tip is if you are listening to the yoga playlist of the month or any of the vinyasa flow playlists of the month, Flo already mentioned it earlier, but is to make sure that you shut off shuffle so that the order of the playlist actually goes in order of your practice so that you know, you're not in Shavasana and then you have like a really high beat song that comes on. Thanks so much guys for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. Consider subscribing to the channel to support us so that we can publish more videos and the channel continues to grow. Check out the Spotify. The link is in the description below and keep, keep on with the practice. Keep going. Keep it up. Mm. We'll see you in the next one. Love and gratitude. Peace. Peace.